gonna get that done while you stop. Stop, bro. That's true. You know people can hear you right now. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna get the powder white stuff. Powder donuts. You're crazy. Oh, man. Oh, Lord. That's loud. <sighs> I ain't getting no damn coffee, man. As bad as I'd like one right Oh, my gosh. That had us up all night last night drinking yeah. donuts. I was tossing and turning. Yep. All right. Hey, what's up? First, hey, hello. What's up, y'all? What's up, my people? What's up, y'all? Hey, we are back. What's back up, James? Dude. What's up, y'all? So, we had our first Twitch stream. Yeah, we did. How many people in here was in the Twitch stream? the first one it was good it was fun hey y'all what's up chef what's up what's up y'all we're gonna get some beignets man up the block here what's up javier back my dad said hello from melly yeah and tell, tell pops i said what's up what's up we're gonna get these beignets a couple of minutes up the block here probably did that twitching <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, we, yes, it wasn't bad for our first one, you know what I'm saying? No, can't can't be mad at that. It worked out nice. Yeah, we did some cooking on that damn thing. Oh, Fishman Hype sent you over some sent you over five dollars. Get that cafe latte iced. Fishman, thank you so much. I didn't know you guys did Twitch stream now. Yeah, so yeah. Ralph just started it. I'm I, an I'm an official streamer now, y'all. He calls it a Twitcher. <laughs> I call it a Twitcher. People told me I'm not because you like a YouTuber, a TikToker. So I figured I was a Twitcher. People said, no, you're not a Twitcher, you're a streamer. I said, okay. Well, mm, I'm a streamer and Twitcher. All right, we have Mama Dukes in there. Mally said she really enjoyed it. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Kyle? So whoever that was, if you want to check it out, it's uh, Ralph the Baker 101, y'all. <clears throat> Ain't no telling what I might do on that, though. Ain't no telling what we doing on that. I'm going to tell y'all that now. Nah. Dax said hello. Who was it? Dax. What's up, Dax? Hey, guys. So Booyah. We, we heading What's down here, y'all. We're going to get some uh, beignets from Cafe Dumont. And uh, we're going to tear them up. That's what we're going to do, babe. Oh, Kristen, we, I don't know if we could do another coffee run. Dunkers had us up all well, I night. I just was saying that, bro. Like last night, y'all, that Dunkin', man. I'm telling y'all. Get that cream. Get a get a large Dunkin' Donuts. Get that cream and that extra cream and sugar. Whatever the hell they give you. Hit that sucker, bro. Don't, don't, don't babysit it. Hit it, bro. Hit that whole large in 30 minutes. See what happens. I drank that whole large when we were on live last night, and I was up. Uh, it was 1.30 in the morning. I wasn't close to being tired. I love the videos y'all do. Thank you. Uh, we have not had Shipley's Donuts yet. They have one right around the corner from our Shipley's. house. Shipley's. Okay, remember the donut spot across from Fat Boys? You telling me it's open right now? I don't think they're open. You can go see, but I don't know if they're open. I think it's like a... Y'all look in there and tell me if she, I can see if ship is open. Oh, girl, what eyed for real. What's up, guys? Man, we couldn't fall asleep, bro. I tossed and turned all night, bro. I had to bake a... All messed up. Powdered sugar separate. Well, you got to put the powdered sugar on the beignets. Yeah, you got to put it in there and shake it up. See if Shipley's is open. What the hell y'all got it? I ain't not Shipley's heard Shipley's is that. the shit. Shipley's opens up tomorrow morning. Shipley's no. goes hard, fam. We get them here in Texas. All right, well, I'm gonna definitely try it. Where we got one at? Um, it's right across. It's right in the strip mall of Fat Boys. Remember when we was on live? Oh, that's you talking about? Yeah, that's Shipley's Donuts. Okay. I mean, it looked like nice looked on good. the picture on the tour. It looked good. I don't know if that was it. Yeah, my turn. It's on Lettery Road. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, by Fat Boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I seen the pitch. I was like, man, them donuts look nice. Man. Oh, I think you BW sent you over 20. Donating to the beignet run. Let's go. Uh, I appreciate you. that. That was very nice. Let's go, bro. I'll make some Canadian things and you make the best. You make something Canadian and I'll make something Cajun. There we go. That sounds fun. I'm definitely down. Your camera's off. It's awesome. I feel like I'm in the car with you. Respect from Canada. <laughs> we appreciate it, Canada. We do appreciate it. Man, it's always a good time, man. So we're going to get these beignets. We're going to make a mess. We already know that. That's guaranteed. Have their time. Mm -hmm. Now, those, uh, Javier, that, we just can't do that out here. Everybody keeps asking about that. It's what, not about the legal. flour? Yeah, the edibles. I know, man. If it was, I'd be all up on that. 
What's up, Jarvis? I feel like, I feel like check out Bacon 101 for everything you want to eat. <laughs> I've been craving oxtail with southern cabbage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a donut place here in San Antonio called Duck Donuts, made to order, fried up, and decorated in front of you. Wow. That's insane. Damn. Okay, no. It's legal. Oh, man, what you mean is legal? Yeah, have you got a medical card, right? I but I don't even see nobody with well, no medical card. Money. I ain't never seen nobody. I ain't never yeah, met nobody with one. Me neither. That must be on the low low out here. Yeah, I ain't never seen, I ain't never met one person with the medical card or nothing like that, man. I ain't got that kind of luck, bro. I be thrown on the ground, beat down, and shook down. What is better, morning call or cafe du monde? Morning call, in my opinion. Now, I same haven't thing, had morning bro. call in Same years. thing, man. It's just like literally, in my opinion, it's literally like same thing, y'all, because... It's just beignets, just dough and powdered sugar. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no, ain't no major situation. So they just can duplicate it. You know what I mean? A little work, you can duplicate it your damn self at home. I made your potato soup tonight. Shit is bomb. All right, now. I know that's some good stuff. I'll tell you that right now. Um. No, Gerald, I apologize. I did not get there, but I'm because we had really bad Where rain earlier get? today. He um, sent you a shirt to your P.O. box. Oh, so we were morning. supposed to, yeah, well, we, we have to go bring. tell me this. I said it last night on live, so. Oh, I'll be down. <laughs> and I said, well, we have to go bring uh, packages to the post office, but we didn't get to bring them because the rain was so Man. bad. And our neighborhood just floods so bad. I mean, it goes down pretty quickly, but then it's really a it's really hard it's to get to the terrible, post man. office with all this crap. Rain so we're going just... tomorrow morning. Ridiculous. Man. Um. Yeah, I got to go in the morning and get these orders on. Okay. Even wait, hold on. He said, "My brother and sister have theirs as of last week, and my son." Talking about the cards, the medical cards. Out here. Yeah, he's from here. Mhm. Mm you mean you you you, you telling me? Is that for some and Mally said her dad has one for his glaucoma, but he just never used it, but he carries it in his wallet. Yeah, but out here, you can go get like a bag of trees if you want to, if you got this card. Or is it like only like edibles or something? And where do you find a doctor for this? Doctor. <laughs> we don't know shit. Dr. Ralph has got you covered. Come hey, you invested in getting to the moon yet, Ralph? We're trying, Man. Angelico. We're trying to get Angelica. there. I need you to do is... uh. Front me the first hundred thousand. <laughs> I'm playing. God bless the USA. That's it, man. I tell you that right now. We're almost dead, y'all. We almost about to get these here beignets, boy. I tell you that right now. Bag of trees and edibles. Wow, damn, bro. Why we ain't got a card, man? What the hell's wrong with us? I don't know. I didn't I know never about knew this. I could get this, bro. I was always scared. Now I got. Now I gotta go research me. Now I gotta go research. I need this, bro, in my life. Y'all may be like, bro, bro, we ain't seen you drink I feel like it's a lately. setup in Louisiana. I ain't gonna lie. No. I feel like it's a setup. Man, the hell with a setup, bro. If you got your card and you just go like, who the hell's got that, bro? I was thinking of the site. Who they have all the dispensaries. I ain't never seen a dispensary down here, y'all. No, they don't have one out here, huh? Well, where the hell you get it from then? You got That's to go question, somewhere and get it, baby. That's true, huh? I thought LSU was going to, like, start doing something with some kind of dispensary, but I don't know what they be doing. I'm about to figure this out, bro, because I got to go get me a car immediately. I got a medical problems. Man, anybody, uh, yeah, I got anxiety. Bro. I mean, he's, like, legitimately diagnosed. Yeah. Has been for years. Um, You're like, bro, my anxiety. Oh, the West bro. Bank. Well, wow. And Mandeville. Oh, uh, that's right. I did hear that about the North Shore. I did. I do remember that. I want to say right before the panorama, huh. they was talking about I'll be about smoking that. and talking, baby. <laughs> I make the videos. Like, you know what I mean, bro? I was like, damn, bro, bro. You think you're going too far with this? I like, not at all, bro. I'm waiting 30 years for this right now. <laughs> you got glaucoma. Oh, Lord. I, I know I've been waiting 30 years. Oh, Lord. I didn't even know about this life. Well, I was right. in the red light, y'all. <laughs> you got his nerves all bad. He almost ran the red light. All right. Um, All right. We got Hooters right here. We gonna get some Hooters real quick. Visiting New Orleans next week. Any food suggestions? Yeah, you can go to <coughs> Slim Goodies on Magazine Street. It's really, really good. And then if you want to get like fancy, you got the Rib Room. 
which is in the at the bottom of the hotel of the Royal Oh, Royal, they're closed. Royal Omni. And if these bitches, you tell me they're closed? No, Thomas. baby, it's, oh, it's Monday. Maybe yeah. they're not closed. Smack them down if they're closed. You can't smack people down for you coming. Bro, you passed up the whole ordering. Went Looking around, they got the whole thing buffering. Can't get the days, bro. Dude, bro. Okay, hold on. Yeah, but we let me tell y'all something, bro. We back, we back. Y'all see us? Damn, bro. Shepherd's I don't high. know what to get now, y'all. All right, let's see. All right. Man, New Orleans is raggedy, bro. I swear to God, bro. Okay. Y'all see us now? I know we disconnected for a second. I ain't going to no raggedy uh, 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 Dunkin' Donuts. I just ain't doing it, bro. Be back. Okay. Uh, so TSP, I did respond after live last night. Check your junk folder. If not, I'll respond again. We were on here and I'll end the thread. So, and then it shouldn't go to your junk. Sometimes that happens though. Damn, man. Bro, I bro, I'll tell you why. I'm from Baton Rouge and now live in Ohio. I can tell you it feels, feels weird as hell to buy legal trees. LOL. I bet, man. Could you imagine that rolling up? Be like, yeah. I mean, I don't know, bro. You know what I'm saying? Police get behind me. I'll probably throw my stairs down, bro. Even if it's legal. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It feels like... I mean, could you imagine so... a cop being on side of you just choking on one? Bro? Hey, what's going on, officer? No, it is has always been so criminalized here. For real. Like, they like they will give you... They used to. I, obviously, I don't know about no <laughs> more. But they used to give you some hard time. I Not have no a... More, though. A guy I went to school with who got 20 years. I think it was on the news at one point. 20 years for like his second offense for like under. A, it wasn't a very large amount. And. If you're playing the game, you got to bid up for like the lawyer. So it feels. That really feels weird. I ain't going to lie to even think that it could be like that. What's up? How are you doing? Man, doing good, y'all. Cafe Dumas. The what? We are not going downtown. We have a serial shooter out here right now. Mm -mm. 30 people done got shot. Most of them killed. Nobody knows where it's coming from. Damn, I'm telling y'all, man. Louisiana is something else, bro. Been there all my life, man. And Day by day, I get more ready to get up out of here, y'all. Day by day. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. What's up, Pammy Mac? Pammy, what's up, big? What you and Tim doing? Me and Sarah's on our way to our ball right now. The mother of hell we are. So you're gonna bar my ass right at home on no Monday. Yeah, I'm gonna play right here down the road. I think Triple Play closed, uh, their kitchen closed down. That they're just a bar now. They really? That's burgers. You wanna go to uh, right here, Izzo? How you say that? No, that's burritos and stuff. Tutti Fruity? No, I don't want ice cream. Come to Texas. See, they got this nice Mercedes convertible in front of me. I ought to run them off the road, bro. Hey, y'all, what's up? Nice. Come to Boston. Welcome you with open arms. Man, that'd be nice to go to Boston. City Park right by Canal. Yeah, I don't want to go over there either at night. I know. We got to be like in Metairie, y'all. What they got in Metairie? Let's talk about this, y'all. Let's think. You was all here. Wait, hold on. Did someone call me your daughter? I look that young? Or is Shirley just trying to make me feel old? All Who right. said that? Blessings. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. What they're building in this joint. They said CC's coffee's on vets, but I don't think they have any. They got that right here. We're about to pass it up, but I don't think they got no beignets, huh? Or donuts or anything. What model Benz? Oh, this is the new, this is the oh, new 2020. Oh, that's the cop, and I got both lights on. Shit. It's not illegal. That's a myth to drive with your lights on. That's a myth that that's illegal. Yeah, right. I'm telling you. Hey, right. I had three run-ins with the cops. One, I got beat down, and two, I got drunk guns drawn down on me. I don't like dealing with them no more. I guarantee um, that. All right. Hold on. I'm trying to catch up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, We voted for far. We got 75% of our votes for it, and the dang Supreme Court shut us down, he said. Damn. Get you some tequila. Oh no, baby. Mm -hmm. Was it going on? And how was Twitch? 
How did you twitch? Twitch was nice, man. It was it was different. It streams really, really, really nice. It's quite different. Uh, damn, we only doing thirty, bro. We actually like been smoking. <laughs> Rock <Rocka. laughs> It was fun, man. It was real fun. You know, I like Twitch because, in other words, we can do whatever on there. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't got to worry about it messing up my algorithm or this or that. We could legit do whatever, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Kristen G said, sent over 25, and she said, what do you call a Cajun that never tells the truth? A jambalaya. <laughs> love you, bro. We love you, too. A jambalaya. That's right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> That's stupid. A jambalaya. Oh my god. Okay, so Chuck Chuck wanted to know uh -huh. if you ever left Louisiana, where would you go and live as a substitute? Very, very good question. Man, I tell you. Man, I'm gonna be forty years old come February. Yeah? I ain't never seen much snow but an eighth inch in my life. I'd go somewhere where they got a little snow, y'all. Not yeah. a lot of snow. But I'd want some kind of snow, you know, somewhere like that down. And I've been in this hundred degree weather and hundred percent humidity all my damn life, man. And, you know, I feel like, y'all, it's like, like, I ain't saying there was so many, so much opportunity before Katrina, but, like, man, it's just, just went on a straight decline since Katrina, man. Just everything is up, and, and, and your opportunities are very low here, especially if you have kids. Um, man, and y'all just couldn't believe the prices on these houses, bro. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. You need 300, bro, to come live in Metairie. And that's for something raggedy, bro. I ain't, I ain't lying to you. So I don't know. You know, it's a good question. I don't know. Maybe uh, I would imagine maybe like Tennessee or something. Uh, TSP, yes. Yeah. So when we get off the live, I'll resend it over to you again. Um, all right, wait. Hold on. A lot of people said stuff like he's talking. Oh. <laughs> um, I didn't get a chance to tune into the Twitch. Oh, uh, come to Toronto yeah. in the winter and enjoy. Man, that'd be nice, boy. I tell you. My birthday today, I turned 30. Lost wow. fault. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. That's that's awesome. Boston, but not Alaska. Boston? Man, Boston. You know, when I think of Boston, I think of how they talk. They talk pretty cool out there, I think, you know. See, look at look at your dicks right now. Barbecue bed. I, I mean it's you. late, baby. No, baby. I was saying, remember you were saying you oh. couldn't remember. Oh, how it was? yeah, I do remember it. Okay, now. Man, it's nine something, man. Before Katrina, y'all in New Orleans, I swear to God, I lie to y'all not. Nothing closed. Not a Winn Dixie. No, not a Walmart. Not a gas station. Not a nothing. Nothing closed. Zero, nothing. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It went every single day. And after Katrina, Walmart and all you Winn Dixies, they all seen, well, we can make just as much money by. Not being open that late. And then, then one followed suit, bro, and the next. Now everything closes, bro. BTD, say you have a 20. Godspeed. Thank you. BTD, thank you, man. I appreciate y'all, man. I know, they showing out tonight, you know? I know, right? Now, Tasty's on Transcontinental closes, I think, either for 8 or 8.30. Sometimes. Like, y'all, where are we going to go? We on. They got Krispy Kreme. Man, hell with that, man. No, I don't like Krispy Kreme, y'all. I'm gonna tell you why. It's my pet peeve with them. Is that because, like, if you go there and they got hot glazed donuts, you pay the price. But then if their donuts is old and cold, you still got to pay that same price. And that just really bothers me, y'all. Yeah. I just don't like it. Like, y'all don't even give a brother a discount with your cold donuts, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Oh, my God. Bully Bread has done sent about 20 comments. Okay. About paying you for some kind of challenge, and I did not catch what it was. Bully bread. I would assume to challenge you to outdo you. He wants to pay you to outdo you or something. Come uh, on, guys. Tell you what, bully bread. Go ahead and cash that bro, babe. Ralph the beggar. And I'll send you a certificate that says you lost. <laughs> Favorite non Louisiana dish. I'm just playing. I'm just messing with you. I ain't saying you can't go. Yeah, we just teasing. I don't like, I don't, I, why we all got to be challenged, bro? Let's just show each other what we can cook. I'll show you what I do, you show me what you do. And hell, we all eat good, you know what I mean? Uh, Cali goes to mountains for snow, then the beach better move here. Oh. LA crime is way up there. We got a serial shooter right now who can't get on the interstate. Otherwise, I'd, we'd be going somewhere else. 
Carlos said, dude, what's up? I see you bringing the Cajun to the Mexican candy. Man, that's it, Carlos, man. I tell you, you know, I love it. I've always loved it. So I said, you know what? <laughs> Let's try and put a little bit of Cajun in there, see what we can do. Man, it turned out fantastic. It really did. But you know, that's good. me and Sarah, we go to places all the time. You can get it. It's just, we love it. Man, we almost in New Orleans, bro. I ain't seen nothing yet, y'all. Damn. Alright, so guys, oh, what about right I'm gonna just say Pacino's coffee. They ain't got no uh, donuts. What Pacino's got? Nothing? Mm, coffee? Oh, they, they might closed, have dessert. Bro. They closed too. Okay, so very nicely, I just asked for anybody that's new to the channel or might not be familiar, the only thing we don't do is politics. That's like really the only rule and be respectful to each other because we don't, we don't we don't give a damn who you, who you voted for. Nope. To be very I honest. I always tell y'all. I don't give that's a damn business, who you vote for. That's your business. That's your right. You know what? And near one of them ever did nothing for me, and they ain't going to do nothing for me. That's just my outlook. Maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. But everybody got their fair opinion upon what I believe and all that. We still love it. I don't even give a damn. You know what I mean? Yeah, fool me. So go up on the news. I think it's on NOLA.com. You got a green light, baby. Um, I get to look in that comments. Like they I had them, the right? NOPD did a news conference on it. And it's been... Okay, so it's been like, you know, you've been hearing about all the shootings for the last, like, two years on the interstates. Well, now they're starting to call it a serial shooter. Uh -huh. But they don't have any patterns on them yet. Well, you know, the weird thing is that we're thinking it might be, it's got to be like a drone with a gun on it or something. You know how they did that on YouTube? Because the people don't see nothing. They ain't had no altercations and they ain't never got no witnesses on 30 people getting shot and killed and shit. Like, something ain't adding up right there, y'all. I mean, where the hell is it coming from? If it's a sniper, you know, they're going to they're gonna know what bullets it is, bro. I think it was throwing them off. It's probably a handgun and they're like, well, how the hell is this happening? I don't know. So you had um, Asher Nandez saying you have a five sweet things on vets and Jose's on West Esplanade. Thank you. I appreciate it. Sweet things on veterans? West Esplanade? Sweet things. Oh, wait. Sweet things is not far from here. All right. Let's go. Let's go to sweet things. I think it's like right here by Sideline Mall, right? Sweet things. I'm trying to think of it in my head. I don't know. It's a pink. It's a pink place. Is it the other way? Oh, I don't know. I'd have to Google it. Is it before bottom? I ain't gonna know. I don't know. I want to say it's the other way, huh? Let your channel be safe. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, so yes, this is a Chrysler. So you, you marked the territory. I mean, the interior correctly. Correctly. Um, what's your favorite NFL team, Ralph? Man, you know I gotta go with New Orleans Saints, man. I know I gotta go there with it. I know I got to take them. Uh, God bless y'all. Have fun tonight. Thank you, Carter. Thank you. What's your favorite rapper? Favorite rapper? Y'all know that's gonna be Kevin Gates. That's gonna be Kevin Gates right now. What's the moon look like tonight? It seems like a full right moon, there. Charlie. Nah, oh, it's, it's like a moon. little tiny. What's that called? A crescent? Yep. I don't even know if that's yeah, a that's, crescent. That's, that's it. Yeah. Saints forever, bro. That's it, man. Um. Do you like NBA Youngboy? Yeah, I mean, I listen to a couple of their songs. Not too many. Sarah's like, he's been raggedy and all that. But I mean, not. I ain't hating on him. It's just, I don't think he's the smartest person in the bunch. Well, you know, how old is the boy? Young. There you go. Sometimes, you know, we learn the hard way. And sometimes we ain't got to learn so hard. The boy just got to learn less the hard way. You're going to learn it one way or another. How far you want to go? You know? Yeah. He's back rude, yeah. So, it just... I don't... I'm not, like, necessarily a particular fan of his style of rap. He's talented. It's just not my style. It just makes me sad to see how these kids still think they got to be in the streets. Like, you hustled this hard and you made it. And you're obviously talented to come this far. Even if it's not my Man, thing. Yeah, we talent. must be breaking ice tonight. We got 100 people in the house. <laughs> 100 people. Oh, okay, it's 1011 Veteran Sweet Things. Hey guys, what's up, Aaron? 1011. Right. What about Lil Wayne? I like Lil Wayne. 1011. Help me find an address here. I know it's got to be the other one. Yeah, I think it's the other one. I know damn well I think I made a She's time. a Beastie Boy fan. I like Beastie Boys. Come on, bro. What are you trying to do? Um, 
He's facing life in prison. Right. That was my point is that he has still allowed to, to his mind and his mentality to stay street, men, have that street mentality and he couldn't get himself out of that and separate. He well, leveled you know, up. So you got to get out the streets. Though, Sarah, a lot of people, y'all, have made it to very high levels of success. And they couldn't leave the lifestyle behind for multiple yeah. reasons, whether we knew them because they were famous or not. A lot of people, man, make it to the top and they just, they lose it all being fools, you know. And sometimes, every, we all different. I had learned a lot of things the whole way in life, God knows. Yeah. So I think I definitely, I think I just have a very good, I, I feel like I have an understanding on it. I mean, look. Yeah, but it's not the first time he was in trouble. Yeah, but it wasn't my first time, second time, third time, you know. Oh, all oh wait, no. Sweet things. Hold on. Let me find sweet things. Man, sweet driving. things down here, man, that pink building. Down over here. Sweet things. Let's see if we're going in the right direction. We're going in the right direction. I guarantee it. All right, let's hit go. Starting route to sweet things and grill. Okay. Okay, so. And three quarters of a mile. Maybe you turn it over. Drive. Right, let's just see what they got at Sweet Things. Man, I hope Sweet Things open. But... Oh, you know where this is at? Past all. Oh. Is it past one X? I know where it's at, baby. You're missing all the comments. Oh, okay. I know where it is. All right. How do I turn that off? Right in. All right. Let me get back to the comments. Okay. Whoa. Right, <laughs> you see all of that? Hey, y'all from Tennessee. What's up, Tennessee? Yes, near Bonneville. Okay. Oh, okay. thank you. Osner uh, sent over $50. Sweet Things nice. is right wow. after New Orleans Hamburgers and Seafood Company. If you're on vets, go into Cosby. Thank you That's so much. That awesome. was so thank sweet. Thank you very much. Y'all are showing out tonight. Thank y'all so much. Yeah, that, that's the way it is. Okay. <laughs> that means we made like a U-turn right before we got to the last time, y'all. Oh, God. RTV said we're going the right way. GPS said make oh, a U-turn. Oh, this truck just hit the curb, leaving the bar. He's going straight to jail tonight. Oh. He's swerving. Yeah, he's going straight to jail, bro. I hate to set it on you, bro. Oh, he that almost time. hit the... Bro, you know what, y'all? I don't even be feeling bad for people that go to jail on DUI. You know why? You got Uber and Lyft these days, bro. And if you can't afford that, your ass ain't got no business out on the streets, man. Kill somebody innocent, you know? Oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, Wu-Tang. Are you in a Wu-Tang? Uh... <clears throat> the Wu-Tang gang. Wu-Tang, <laughs> Wu-Tang gang. I said, are you into Wu-Tang, the music? Oh, I like it, yeah, I like it. I thought you were talking about, you were bringing me back TikTok days, bro. Wait, where is that? It's got to be right up there. Oh, Shirley, I'm going to pray for you, my girl. What's wrong with you? Sarah, where is the hell is it at? What is it by, by what? Sweet Things. Oh, it's right by, here. No, it Catch the Yui. Nah, I'm gonna oh, tell so Sweet it thing. wasn't a pink, but yeah, it's pink. pink. <laughs> Light pink, but it's pink. Let's go see what Sweet Things is working with, man. Oh, so I was kind of, sort of right. It was the wrong bar. I knew it was next to a daiquiri shop, but I thought it was sidelines. Okay. Man, I hope they open, bro. I really do. Is that how the hell y'all drive in New Orleans? Yep. Oh, yeah. We usually drive with our knees and two feet. Cool. We never close, it says. Yeah, well, what they got, bro? Sweet things. They don't like they got nothing, man. Would you prefer a Charger or a Challenger? Man, shoot, man. Challenger's pretty, though. Man, I, I like it. I probably go to Charger, bro. Y'all sure Please got... make a shirt that says abandoned vessel. <laughs> abandoned the vessel, bro. Abandoned ship now. All right. So what are we going to get here? Because they don't know they got no donuts and stuff, yeah? They better if they're called sweet things. With Come on, these... man, we can't... They got alcohol here. I don't want no beverages but right now. But why they got alcohol over here? Because it's sweet. I don't know where they got us at. But are now they we... bacon with it? Hell no. Nah. They got Patron, Jack. Bro, I'll get bean. some Baba T, a Camaro. We got nice, snowmobiles nice. here. We got this. We ain't got no damn snowmobile. Oh, I was thought they said. I thought they said a snowball truck. Damn, bro. <laughs> a knee driver RCB route. Normally not. He's really not. I don't know why he does all of that bull crap. What? What I did? A I knee did. driver. Oh, I did that. Okay. Scream at my man. Who's who is it? Oh, I thought somebody was screaming at you. Wait, hold on. Let me get my face out of here. Rose said this looks like me and him. What? 
Yeah, I guess oh, it, it does because we always eat, no. Okay. They said that's me. <laughs> don't burn the roof. No, you don't ever want to burn the roof. What they got sweet around here? All right, let's see. Hi, how are you? Oh, okay. I don't like showing people on here. All right, we got some donuts. That was me. Oh. Ooh. You know what I want. Hi. I want to get a dozen donuts. Can I get a three of the cream salt? Old fashioned. Yeah, is that okay? Uh, I'm not putting anybody on it. That's fine. Are we good? No, we're we're on live, oh, like a live, live stream. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, and what else would you like? Three of the chocolate glaze. Thank you, thank you, Tox. We appreciate it. And uh, three glaze. You guys need to come up here to Tim Hortons, get it right? What's up, Bryce? Justin Wilson? Oh, he's gonna go with Justin Wilson. Oh, the glaze? At three glazes, chocolate glaze, three, uh, powder Oh, it's fine. Oh, you too. Yes, ma'am. No, not at all, huh? You got my heart, Um, yes, I do. <laughs> Ralph knows he wants that big Cinnabon. <laughs> All right, my people. So, you get some thons. Y'all recommended this joint? I'm going to see what it is. Okay. okay. He said, I guarantee it. You know what I'm saying? Guarantee it, bro. Wait, let me do this. Guarantee. You know, when you guarantee something, bro, you put your name on the line, bro. Like, they guaranteed it. Best you guys want to get. I'm He's paying. I'm not paying. No, I'm just teasing. Thank you. <laughs> Ask if they got medical donuts. <laughs> That's what you get. I'm sorry. That's okay. He just. He just. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> stop, stop, stop lying to those people. Hoorah! Right. <laughs> she was rude. I couldn't give her a tip because she was fucking rude. That's what, but you, then you got injured See, then in God a business. punished me on the instant, bro. Then God punished you. Man, I should have tipped her, bro. But no, he hasn't rude? been drinking. He was oh, playing with him. Guess. I tell you something, you ain't gonna catch me doing drinking and driving. <laughs> Matthew sent over five dollars. Ralph, you are the man. I love your videos and your shorts. Bro, like, what's wrong with people, y'all? Like, <laughs> they said throw a donut at her. <laughs> yeah, you're not rude. She was. She's like, are you? You're. Recording? She was like, that's weird. Yeah, that's. Weird. I wasn't even showing because I don't like to show people when we go in public. I'll, and Ralph always says, don't show them the floor. But I don't. I don't like, like that, bro. Look, I'm coming through. It is what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just don't is. like. Putting people on the That's camera. That's how I'm telling permission. about Louisiana. That's why they suck, bro. They don't even know about people having followings. That's weird to them. Well, that's weird. What's weird? What are you saying? Right. We trying to help your business out. I can tell you right now, and I love y'all to death, bro. But this ain't gonna crack it, bro. Okay. We can't judge them because it's nighttime. But I'm gonna tell you right now. The beignets was closed down. They said okay. in Canada we would have thrown the donuts at her. Legally, you can't. No, I mean, legally, you can't. However, if you're a business owner, it's <laughs> usually that. something that you would, um, what do you, like, encourage? Yeah. Like, hey, let people know to come here. We got good customer service, and we slinging the donuts 24 hours, and they could come in. Like, that's usually what you want as a business owner. Now, if you just, uh person then i could see like bro get out my face shit bro they record you every step you take every way you go inside and outside who gives a damn right let me tell y'all something my ladies and gentlemen 
Everywhere you go in the world is recording you. I guarantee you that, okay? Well, I didn't even put her on camera. I even told her, I said, well, well no, I didn't want to put you shit. on camera. That's okay if it doesn't record you, but you can't record, you know what I'm saying? Like, who gives a shit? You know? I would welcome somebody recording my stuff. That's what I'm saying. Right? It's a blessing, like, come through and you, and, I don't know. No, and that's why I don't usually like to put people, I try to turn the camera away if I don't have permission. But I mean, like I told Sarah, don't show them the floor, like. When I was trying to find some donuts, it was in the cut. <laughs> I was trying to find them. Would I go back to that place? Absolutely not. It only takes me to have one bad experience at your joint. I ain't coming back. Next time, say, try some crow nuts, croissant donuts. It's like the pot of necklace. My attitude was so bad at that point, y'all. I ain't want nothing from there, to be honest with y'all. All right. Let, I'm going to try it, though. Try it. But you can't really judge them on was that because it it's late. No. It but you can't, you can't judge them because it's very late at night. They probably made that this morning. So you really can't judge a donut this late at night. It ain't fair. Yeah, but if you open up 24 hours, you should have fresh donuts That's 24 not hours. fresh. That's nowhere near fresh. Everyone's rude as hell nowadays. They are, they bro. Are. Like, that's she's hard. like, that's weird. What's weird? What, what, do you, what do you mean it's weird? People are throw it off, bro. I'll tell you, man. Oh, Louisiana, I'm just telling y'all I sucked out here, bro. Y'all don't believe me. I don't, don't really see these kids on live recording, doing TikTok dances all over. Fuck. Nobody thinks that's weird. Right. Yeah. That ain't weird. They out there, bro, doing the full step and shit, bro. While you eating your cheeseburger, bro. That ain't no problem. Crawfish are out of season. Man, look at, look at Taco Bell. What the hell are they giving away at Taco Bell? Packed. I was beaming. Wow. Then she acted like she was scared to death because I hit the box on the chair and the chair spun around. <laughs> <laughs> that, then she laughed. I Aww. told her too much to kill her. I, I, I don't know if I'm saying their name right. Please forgive me because I pronounce everything wrong. I'm trying. It's not a Yeah, if you go look at her uh, page. I'm sorry, y'all. Only place I could think of that was over no. 24 hours. That's on me and they sent 50. No. No. no it's that all is good. not. It's all in good. Look, fun yeah trying new things have an experience and like i told sarah you really can't judge donuts yeah. this time of night you know what i'm saying i mean really they're not gonna make donuts all day because then they'd have a whole container garbage can full so they're not gonna do that they make them in the morning if you go there in the morning i'm sure they're really good because they're not bad now they just you're not gonna get fresh donuts right now unless you go to Christmas i mean they're not stale but they're not like freshly baked but they ain't nobody who the hell is making donuts right now you know what i mean Hey, Ralph and Sarah, those look bomb. Let me have one. Ralph, say yeah. New Orleans baby for me one time. New Orleans baby? They're the only new celebrities just graced her. <laughs> we should, I'm going to start putting on my shirt. Ralph the Baker put some respect on his name. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess when she said we it. Are was... not, we are not, we are not, I'm not a damn celebrity. I wouldn't call you a celebrity. I wouldn't say I'm a celebrity, but well I, would, I would imagine I am well known. I mean, people do stop. I get a lot of friends out here. They stop. We take pictures. We talk. We this, we that. You know, just good times. You would imagine that somebody in Louisiana, I don't know. I'm going to just tell you this. If I own that joint and Joe Blow came through, bro, and that's how you treated him, bro, I don't think I'd be very happy. I guarantee you that. You can judge it by that donut because that's that's a good donut. I will say it is fresh. See? Yeah, I'm a celeb in my book. You know you popular. I am popular. He's a celebrity in the making. No, Hell. that was a blessing. We still eating good. I appreciate Look, it couldn't be too bad. She's on her second donut. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll tell you somewhere else that's good, y'all. Y'all ever tried TikTok Cafe right here on Causeway? Right there. If you want to get you like some breakfast food or order hot. All the hot sauces, patty pool boy, y'all, right there. Um, TikTok Cafe on Causeway is really, really good for real. Yeah, yeah. It's good. We ain't driving through no Magnolia. What you mean, the Magnolia Projects? Magnolia, baby. I know, you lying. I remember they got the Holiday Inn right here. And they had them fire trucks over here one day, man. They had a gas leak, but they had all them people standing on the curbs, bro. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, they going fast on that motorbike. Yeah, I'm cracking down this donut. Now, I'll say this about this donut. 
chocolate is. Wait, it's more fresh than the chocolate ones. Saying, you know, However, they being stingy on the custard. Oh. Man, that's a whole lot of dough. Look, look at that little bit of custard right there. Look at that little hole, little poop. <laughs> Robbie got a key for this. <laughs> man, I tell you, Thank man. you guys. No, but that was a blessing. Thank you so much. They yeah. super extra blessed us tonight. No, y'all did, really. So um, y'all showed up and showed out for real. No, we appreciate that, man. And I don't know if I butchered their poor name. I'm sorry if I did. Yeah, I wanted to say Ashner. It reminded me of Ashner Hospital, but it was Osner. Osner. I'm sorry. I say everything wrong. Man, I'm wondering what's going down with this bar right here. Let me go be nosy for a minute. You <laughs> Rob on a, a reality TV show. Not yet. Ain't nobody in the back seat. That's a shadow. Let me see if these drunk. Oh, what about the cops? They ain't been having nobody here. Bro. Ever since I'm they did good us, for them. Ever since they did us wrong, bro. They've been closed. Like, closed. What's the paper say on that? Do I got to be nosy? Hold on, y'all. The paper's got to be nosy because this bar did it us wrong. It looks like flyers. <laughs> Best burger joint in NOLA. Best burger joint. Hmm. Okay, so. It's a rough one. <laughs> I got powdered sugar all over my face. Desi Vegas is really good. Open. One hand at one time. No, they're just not open, bro. That's how shitty they are. Wow. I don't know. Something's but going down. If y'all are a local and y'all have heard of Triple Play, it's a bar. Ooh, you just said the kitchen was shut down, bro. Okay, I'm just hoping they was remodeling or something during the pandemic. Yeah, because that, that bar ain't gonna close. That ain't known for their food, man. Triple Play got the burger, bro. Oh, boy. Man, you eat so much of that burger, and it's like one pound, but it's not a nasty one pound burger. It's like a... <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, man. The best Damn, it's good. burger. It is. It is the best burger. Triple Play right there, y'all. On Veterans, right across from Clearview Mall. And you know what? You can call and order your food so you can just go to the bar when you get there and pay for it and go. And watch. Try that damn burger. You're mm -hmm. like, damn. All right. That's a good burger. You said, our show is how much you love this donut. Maybe my favorite kind of donut in the world. And I don't be caring right now. I don't be caring. I feel bad for not giving a lady a tip, bro. But well, go back and go give her no, a tip. I ain't going back, bro. But you know, I don't do that, bro. I really don't. But she, she kind of aggravated me. But I do okay. feel bad on the backside. Beach corner at the end of Canal Street. I feel like we've been there. Man, that Beach sounds corner. that sounds really freaking familiar. I'm trying to think. Man, y'all, I think we've been every damn way. I'm just trying to think. Hmm. On the end of Canal. What about? I tell you what. Um, what's the name of that store on? Y'all gonna know it on? Uh, shit. Right by the jail, y'all, in New Orleans. Uh. Where you get the whole foot long pole boy, uh, the whole the whole loaf of pole boy, y'all, for like. On Banks? Might be, I saw on might. Banks and Tulane. Is that Banks and Tulane, y'all? I think so. That's, that's at the gas station. Food ain't no yeah. restaurant. I know, but I'm just saying. You go there. I remember we worked out there. You go there and get the whole loaf of French bread, shrimp pole boy for like $15 or something like that. The whole damn loaf, bro. Not a piece, bro. Not eight inches, 12 inches. No, the whole loaf. Roll with it. They got some good food. Subway. Oh, man. Hell no, man. No, Subway's trash. This feels like I'm watching cops, bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? Oh, shoot, <laughs> man. What's up, Michigan? I cook your stuff all the time. That's awesome. Man, we just Thank boiled you. some uh, shrimp, y'all, on, uh, on Twitch. Twitch tonight. We boiled up some shrimp and potatoes. I forgot to put the damn sausage in the damn thing, but... We did boil that up, and uh, it was good. They said, don't feel bad. She stays paid. She needs to work on her people skills. She does, you know. But in all fairness, maybe she's not a rude person, but we caught her off guard, you know and she it put could up her be defense. A, she could be a wanted felon on a run. <gasps> like America's Most Wanted, huh? Yeah, like a widow, the black widow. Or she could just be in her defense because she's a woman working at night by herself. They had two women now. The other woman doesn't look like she was working too much. She looked like she's about to roll out. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
oh, I know what you're talking about. No, we have been there. It's by Indian, uh, not Indian Imports, uh, Herbal Imports. We go get the test on Canal by House of Prayer. And yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. A beach corner. Now I know where it's at. Yeah, we've been there. We've been there a long time ago. They said, oh, wow. <laughs> I think that's what it was, y'all. I think she was on America Most Wanted. Mm -hmm. I'm twitching. <laughs> Oh my god, I eat family style. Where's the shrimp? Right inside, y'all on the table. Man, man. Damn, I forgot the corn too, bro. No, we didn't buy corn. Yeah, I did. No, uh -huh. remember I said nobody eats it? I guarantee I did. Where's that? In that house? Man, this is marriage goals. I wish my wife would leave and go get done to me right now. She's trying to make me exercise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta tell the baby, look, we only got one life to live. We ain't about to exercise tonight. I might make you live your life shorter, though, if you don't. Tell all that. I will say. I ain't gonna lie. This ain't bad donuts. Especially yeah. for Monday night. They just cold, but they ain't, that one wasn't You're not bad. You get these kind of donuts first right now. Where's problem. the dang corn? I forgot the corn and the sausage. Ralph, I feel like Dragos are the best in NOLA. What do you think? Oysters, right? Mm, I, I mean, that's what they're known for. So I don't know if that's what they mean or if the restaurant in itself. Let me know what you mean by that. <clears throat> Man, y'all, brother. I have to say, I'm a big fan of At Me Oysters houses. They're char grilled oysters, y'all. I'm a big fan of it. Like, Man. Them things are good, bro. I'm telling you. So if someone said, where do I go eat oysters? That's where I would tell them, go. Now, Drago's <laughs> has like alligator sauce pecan and some really, really good meals. So if you're talking that, you want to go there, in my opinion. You know, I, it depends. It depends on what, what we're talking about. Yeah. Cafe Dumont. We went to Cafe Dumont. Man, I need some, like, chocolate milk or something now. Probably ain't drinking day-old Dunkin's car. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Cafe Dumont was closed when we got there because we tried. Felix on Iberville is a good place to eat. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. RTB, act me the truth. What's up? Man, I'll tell you what. I love the red beans and rice, man, with that hot sausage from Agnes. Oh, man. I'll tear that thing up. I get that. I get six char girl oysters. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I'll tear it up, boy. I'm telling y'all, man. I'm telling you. I think you, Drago's man. is really good. Yeah, but Drago's is like if you want to get oysters. some alligator sauce, pecan, some. Yeah, but you ain't going to go there and dishes. not get oysters, though. No, you can get oysters, too. They're good. But like, at me, to me, is the truth. But if I'm looking to get like a more upbeat meal. Not necessarily more, that well, more, much more expensive. As far but. as oysters are concerned, I don't know. I'm not the biggest oyster person, so. <laughs> you sure suck them down fast. Because you freaking only getting six instead of a dozen. That don't mean eat four. Well, I got to get it out. I live with you. <laughs> Old cheap self. Can't <laughs> get a whole dozen. You can't pour no 20, 20, 20 on no 12 oysters, bro. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Great as hell. <laughs> Yes, Ralph does have an alligator sauce pecan and a uh, chicken sauce pecan yeah. video up. But I tell you what. Let's go. <laughs> I swear to this, y'all. If y'all ain't seen that shrimp stew I just put up, y'all need to check that damn thing out and make that tomorrow. Because I'm going to tell you, man. Yeah, that's good. Damn, that's good. I might make it again my damn self. That's how good that was, y'all. And so what I was saying was, at me, they have good oysters, I ain't going to lie. But their menu kind of sucks i ain't gonna lie it's not a very big menu it's kind of like eat a po' boy a red bean the potato salad is a little whack i ain't gonna lie about that either and like some crab cakes drago's at least has like a good full right, well, wait. menu two oh, people going to at me house for 50 dollars two people going to drago's for 200 dollars so you got to reroute that and take that into consideration. That all depends on how you value your food and your taste buds. Got to value your damn wallet. 
My mom's always empty now because of food, man. That's true, huh? Yeah. Man, what's up? Man, you guys are funny as hell. Ralph, hit me up. Do some <laughs> key, uh, Cuban Toronto tings. Let's split screen. That would be awesome. Hit me up. On uh, Instagram, Ralph the Big 101. We get together. What's up, San Antonio? I could use a RTB breakfast taco. Or them stuffed strawberries right now. That breakfast taco, man, y'all. <laughs> I'm diseased with y'all clapping back at each other. <laughs> That's what I'm we just do that like, all day long. Like, I too. agree. Yeah, take your damn me. donuts. Yeah, I know it's like 10 pounds. That's why I had the incident, not the joke one, and I told her I drank too much tequila, right? Yeah, hit the chair. But she really believed you. She was like, oh, that's not good. Well, hell, she had the bottle of Crown, and I have. I know. Why did I have all that alcohol there, Ralph? I ain't never seen a donut. I don't know what. I thought a bug flew in. I have never seen a donut shop in my life have alcohol, ever. That's how they roll, bro. That's suspicious. I ain't never seen it either, come to think on it. Uh uh. Oh, I've never seen that. Oh no. Let's do it. I love Draco's atmosphere. Yeah, it's really nice. Don't get me wrong, but at me's like, all right, you with one of your boys? Y'all want to get some oysters? You could definitely go through there and get some oysters, get you some red beans with the hot sausage. You're gonna be good. You're gonna be happy. Then I look at Draco's like, all right, I'm taking my wife out on a date, spend some more nickels, but it's gonna be worth it. And you're going to be satisfied there. That's kind of how I see it, I think. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But you with your boys. If y'all with me, bro, I guarantee and I'm paying. We ain't going to Drago's, bro. <laughs> we ain't going to Drago's. I ain't going to be up on here lying to y'all. We're going straight to Apneys, bro. And ain't nobody getting no clean Good dozen. Line. You bringing them straight to McDonald's. You a damn lie. But I'm saying, if I got some money, we each getting six, bro. Don't go above that six mug, bro. Don't go up off in there talking about you want a whole dozen oysters, bro. I said, calm the hell down. Be happy with the half dozen, okay? I want to so live I, in New Orleans all my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, bro. Big ups, Baker Man. What's up, man? What's up, y'all? Y'all country hip. LMFAO, I love it, though. <laughs> hey, I ain't lying. I'd be like, look, bro. Hey, don't be getting carried away on the bill now. Shit. Yeah, they had alcohol in that. I don't know why. That's pretty weird now that you say that. It is. I've not. I mean, they just had a slim like Bailey's, Kahlua. At first, I was like, no, well, they maybe. No, they had Patron and Crown. What? I didn't see all that. Because uh -huh. at first, I was like, well, maybe they use it in their donuts. You know, like you can bake with alcohol. <laughs> Man, hell no. Be out by the register. <laughs> no. Longest twenty minutes ever. Shirley. Man, look, Shirley. We had incidents to take places tonight. Yeah, All we right. was trying to just go get beignets and come home. All right, let's talk yeah. about this. Let's talk yeah. about it. We got a new one. What restaurant? Not seafood market. What restaurant carries the best bold crawfish, y'all? All right, well, while we're waiting on that response, BW said, I feel like I want to leave the potatoes out of the shrimp stew. What's your thoughts? Man, BW, I'll tell you what my thought is. Then, then, then go with about, go do about two potatoes so that y'all can at least try it out where it ain't too much on you. I mean, man. the potatoes don't change flavoring. No, it's not going to change the flavor, but I'm telling you, the potatoes are good in that stew, man. It cooks yeah. up in them flavors, y'all. Ooh, boy. Because then otherwise you're getting something just very similar to like a a shrimp gumbo. It kind of makes the dish, but it don't make the dish. So it, it's, it kind of changes it from like a shrimp gumbo to like a stew, in my put opinion. Put about two potatoes in there, and then the next time you make it, decide if you want to add more or less. But I think you'll really like them, and I think you'll really be surprised how much flavor the potatoes going to get. You're going to be like, damn, that was good. Oh, that is true. They have a vid. Well, yeah, but everyone has video poker out here, and they don't sell alcohol. Like, yeah. It's like not surprising for everyone to have alcohol. I've just never seen a donut shop have alcohol. Like no, tasty they donut, I nobody. Well, I don't know if they sell, sold regular food because I didn't look at their menu because I was too scared to lift the camera off because she made me nervous. They, sold, I didn't look they up. sold like breakfast food, I think, and stuff like that. MMM said you have a 10. Hey, Ralph, can you say hi to my friend? Oh, man, why they got these hard names? Emir? Emar? Emmer? Emmer? Sure, top, but I need to know his name. Oh no, I'm saying I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, ain't shit. But 
All right, say it the way you think. E-M-I-R. Emma? Emma? I don't think. I don't know. The eyes throw me off. I don't know my vowels. <laughs> I feel... Yo, I break feel, it down for us. Tell I, us the name. I feel phonics. <laughs> you ain't shit, bro. <laughs> but now it's not period. Uh, oh. what, you, what they saying? Yeah, pretty cool ass people. Glad to enjoy your lives. Thank you. Oh, Emir. What's up, Emir? How's it going, <laughs> man? We, you know, we sorry for messing up your name like that, Emir. That ain't no hard name or nothing, but we just a little throat off, I think. I'm sorry. Emir. Yeah, see, bro, Sarah, Sarah throws me off and then she starts talking about it and all that down. I promise. Oh, that's boy. how I am in real life. And I and don't Thank you for that $10. I appreciate it. Nice. It was very nice. Man, I, I got all kind of gifts tonight. I know, man. They really showing out tonight, I'm, huh? I'm starting to feel a little rich right now. <laughs> Shirley said, Cajun seafood on Ames or Panera's on Harvey on the expressway. Okay. Because I was going to say, what do y'all think about... <laughs> Oceana Grill on Conti and the Quarter. Mm, you're okay. Is it good? I can't We've say. been there. Because that's a hard thing to find in a restaurant, I, I think. Like good boiled crawfish. In a restaurant now. Thank you guys. Hello, Richard. Beignets are lit. Richard? You guys are awesome. Shots for Amir. Hooked on finance right, network Amir. for Sarah. Hey, Amir, what's going on? She's taking some. He's taking some shots tonight. Come to Florida, Ralph. Man, everybody been asking me to come to Florida. I'm gonna get down on Florida. I want to do another meet and greet. The last one, man, boy. I tell y'all what, boy. We had that meet and greet. We had a. Had a nice turnout, boy. We let me tell y'all what we did. We got so ignorant with this meet and greet. We had a buffet party. Mm -hmm. We had the meet and greet party, and then the, then we had an after party. Oh man, bro! I think it took everybody a week to recuperate on that. Child. That was a. We had a hell of a time, though, no, boy. <laughs> you guys make the best food. Thank you could you. buy a dozen oysters for your woman. Tell him, phone me. Phone me, bro. Tell then, him. Then on top of them dozen oysters, she needs a, a plate, too. Yeah, I like to I can't do all that, bro. That's when she's going, see, that's, she, I could do the dozen. She got messed up. <laughs> I could do the dozen. That's 20 right there. But then she wants a dozen on the meal, bro, on a beverage or a drink. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's $60. That's about my pay grade there. Well, I'm going to tell you that right now. Bro, I don't ask for much but food and life. That's a damn lie. That's a living lie. Uh, um, Edson over five. Can you say hi to my friend? Ed, thank you. And this looks say like hi to his friend because he's <laughs> trying to play on me tonight. He's <laughs> <laughs> trying to play on me. I feel. You know what, Ed? I'm gonna go tell your wife because I know your wife is real strict on you, and she plays on you. <laughs> that I'm was gonna good, tell her man. to go. Kick that was up, good. To go kick up that uh, treadmill up oh. about 10 notches on you, okay? <laughs> that was good, bro. Y'all make us laugh, then you feed oh, us. Can't man. ask for nothing more. Nah, that's a good time. A living lie. <laughs> Shoot. Them Chamoy candies look fire. Yeah, they're good, man. That's, that Chamoy candy's real good. And don't come to Florida Seafood. Ain't the same in New Orleans. Yeah, well, you know, I don't know. I bet I could do a meet and greet in Florida. I got a lot of people in Florida that want to get together. You know, maybe I go to Florida. You know what? I've been to Texas a couple of times. <laughs> Richard said, stop being mean to her. She can't read difficult things. <laughs> <laughs> and I think Richard said that. <laughs> with the best. With the best of hearts. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God. I can't with y'all tonight, It's not just bro. names either. It's I can't with y'all tonight, bro. Y'all, y'all would never believe. I was in honors like half my life. And um, I have, I did a, who's I walking down the street? Oh, it's a cat. I'm blind too. And I did about two years <laughs> of college, but you wouldn't know what no oh, <laughs> They said, wow. She's that on her TikTok, bro. It says the CEO of pronouncing everything wrong. Because bro. I do, but I, do you know I never knew that I did that until you started doing. That. People let us slide a whole life, bro. Ain't nobody ever told me. Oh 
Oh man, y'all Nobody crazy. Nobody ever boy. told me my whole life. Oh, what a live this has been. It's been a fun one, man. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Come to Texas again. Texas is fun, man. Texas is fun. <laughs> you having a good time. Man, I'll tell you, boy. <laughs> Something else. Oh my God. That's up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm still shit. waiting for you to say hi to my friend Sarah. And I'm going to say hi to your wife, Ed. That's <laughs> what I'm going to do if you keep playing. I'm going to call it Kantai. Because oh. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, man. But you guys better stay on. What part of Texas did Ralph go to? I went to uh, Houston, Texas. And I went to... Um, <laughs> Stafford? Stafford, Texas. I went to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And then I went to uh, Birmingham. <laughs> That's in Alabama. Well, no, I'm saying I went to Texas, there, Texas, uh -huh. there, then Alabama, Tuscaloosa, and then where else in Alabama we went? Uh, then we went to Tuscaloosa, and we went to. It was right outside of Birmingham. I always want to call it Hooker. Well, let's call it Birmingham. That's where. We, that's <laughs> that's as far as the big guys traveled to life so far. In Chicago, we ain't been to Chicago, Miss Brenda. I want to go to Chicago. Y'all know I want to go to New York. I've been to Florida. I've been to Tampa. Me and Sarah almost died on the beach out there. <laughs> <laughs> we got on these rafts. We went down to the, to the dollar store. Is it the forget. dollar store? <laughs> Uber, fine. that's what I wanted, I wanted to call it. Uber. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't mind that. <laughs> we went down there to Tampa or Clearwater. It was Clearwater, huh? <laughs> clear water. We down in clear water, man. Had the time of our life. Went down to the dollar store. Said, man, we ain't got no blow up for the beach. We got two of them blow ups, man. When this was, we was young. And man, I tell you what we did. We put our shades on. We blow them blow ups up. The ones you lay on like in the pool. <laughs> we held hands and we closed our eyes and said, you know what? Let's drift the sea. We didn't think we was going to go that far out, bro. We opened our eyes up, bro. Remember how far we was? How we got back? I think we swam like hell to the shore. We was like football fields out, bro. Maybe three football. We was way out, bro. I don't know how way out. Oh, oh, that's true. <clears throat> Hold up. Hold up, Ed. <laughs> Ed, because I can't even say his username. I got to call him. <laughs> I got I to call him Ed. Hold up, Ed. I want you. I ain't going to pronounce it because I could pronounce that. And I want you to see Asher's. Comment, and I want you to pronounce that to your wife. Go oh, do that, Ed. Oh man, this is quite the story. <laughs> Come to man. Canada, eat some. Oh, here they go. They trying to play. Here, you read comments tonight. <laughs> oh God! I don't Wait, know what that, Come to Canada. I don't know what that is. I just did over five. Better make that fun for y'all. <laughs> yep. See, he highlighted it with the five dollars. <laughs> say it, Ed. Say it. I bet you can. I was about to say it. Don't say it. I almost said it. Yo, Ralph. Yo, what's up? What's up? <sighs> you want to tell him Chicago. how to say it? No, I ain't telling him how to say it. Well, you ain't. He's either. probably Google translating. That's a hard one. <laughs> Ralph Tampa, me here's tampon. <laughs> Because he asked that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, man, when I was down there in Florida, the lady could not understand what I was saying. Uh, you remember that? Poutine? Poutine. 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 Ain't that slang for... <laughs> for the cat. <laughs> Man, y'all ain't right, boy. I guarantee you, boy. Y'all crazy as hell, boy. Why stop being real food, though? That ain't no damn, ain't no damn food. <laughs> That's some food, all right. Oh, oh y'all crazy as hell, boy. Why they do this to me? How was the trailer <laughs> trash Tammy show, bro? <laughs> it was a good show, man. Uh, it was a good show. Pootie Tang? <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's gravy, cheese curds, and fries. Oh. For real, that's a thing. <laughs> that's a thing down here. But if you go down with these women down here, you want to do that, bro? 
You want to eat that? <laughs> you better, you gonna eat that? <laughs> you, you better, better be ready. ready. <laughs> Come tell you want some of that down here, boy. See what they get you. Yeah, I guarantee it, man. <laughs> I'm not making fun. You know my wife kicked me out of the bedroom, so I'm just chilling with y'all. I'm gonna get in trouble tomorrow for spending that five dollars. <laughs> it's playing. I'm still waiting on this. All right, Ed. I'm gonna just be nice. I'm gonna tell you, it's Chapa Yeah. What's Since another street? Since your wife kicked you out of the bedroom. What's another street people can't pronounce out here? They they never get it right. Can't I? Mm -hmm. I don't know if they get that one wrong. They get Barone wrong. They get, um, uh, what other street? I'm can't, I'm trying to think on top of my head. I message you. I'm so damn dead. Some of these, some of these <laughs> damn streets are throwed off, like Chapa You know what I'm saying? You look at this damn street sign. It's freaking long, bro. It's long as your damn car. Oh, no. It's funny. Whenever you put on your GPS and you listen to your GPS try to pronounce our street yeah. names, that's really funny. Yeah, go put that into your GPS and tell it to take it and see how it, how it sounds to you. Yeah. Oh man. That doesn't make sense because cats don't like to get wet. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> Sarah's <laughs> Egg, why are you playing? <laughs> I'm so done with him. He almost caught me up on that. He almost <laughs> caught me up on that. The only thing that's so far king right now is you the king of the sofa egg because your wife put you out the bedroom oh man the long bridge that goes over the swamp oh actually i could barely even pronounce that the <laughs> wait is the okay you know which, i can't which, pronounce it the chaffalaya bay yeah that basin. one i don't know if that's how you say. don't ask chaffalaya me basin. is it chaffalaya yeah okay st bernard no. Oh, I can't say none of this. Oh, Buchanan. Let's go for a drive. Durbany. Durbany Street, yeah. We almost got killed on Durbany. <laughs> Someone goes in the front. <laughs> when I start saying thing. shit like that, bro, y'all think I'm lying. It's the truth, bro. <laughs> I, I start reflecting on how many times we really almost got killed in life. <laughs> they said, dang, y'all hating on my coach status. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. I've been there many times. We're sitting in our car in our driveway. On Tequila Fridays, bro. I'm normally on a, on the damn sofa, my damn so. Oh yeah, at least half the weekend, or every time he he drinks. Not every time. We got Calio. I know how to pronounce Calio. our streets, y'all. I don't know how to pronounce other words in the English language. <laughs> Calio, yeah. Oh my god. Does Ralph like Greek food? Man, you know what hell will say. We have delicious food as far as Creole food and Cajun food. We got some good food now. But when it comes to other foods, y'all, we ain't got that out here. Yeah. We, it's so crazy to think, like, we ain't got none of that good stuff out here. And if we do, I don't know where the hell it is, I'm going to tell you. Like, it's just not here. Yeah. You know? We get some little bit of good Mexican food now. now. But. Yeah, our Hispanic food culture has has the, the game has, has they got a real good place on the, david drive yeah that's really they good. got a freaking another good place on roosevelt and kenna they got some good places now but they never used to be like that all right see you later richard um all right richard <laughs> yeah is hot hot tea what Ooh, okay shirley i'm about to hit you up hot tea hot tea all right, let's go to Venetian Isles right now. Let's go. Venetian Isles, yeah. Oh, is that where you did that um that foreclosure with the with the pool table? Yep. We used to do foreclosures, man. That was that was a sad gig, but somebody had to do it, you know. Rob's confused. Confused. I'm confused too, Shelly. What hot tea we got? If we got hot tea, spill it, baby. All 88, nine. You know we can't hit. talk about the tea in here. It might be personal tea, fool. If it's personal, we don't want to hear it, bro. <laughs> if it's like YouTube hot tea, TikTok hot tea, we want to hear it, bro. Tell me if it, what we working with, bro. If it's some real hot tea, drop it like it's hot, bro. Drop it like it's hot. Yeah, so our culture and other, I mean, our food game 
and like it authentic sucks. food out here is really, really lacking. But then, you know. There might be some good hidden spots that we don't know about, but it's not. It, everything out here is all kind of the same. I ain't going to lie. But then I couldn't imagine. Like, if you had a delicious Greek food place, I don't even think it would make it. I don't know. We need to expand our taste buds past fucking crawfish it. and jambalaya. I think, yeah, I think nobody wants to try it, man. I love to try different food, man. Good evening from New, uh, New York. What's up, New York? Sarah needs a white claw. Man, Sarah had about a good eight of them on a couple days ago. We ain't got no ocean. No, we got the Gulf of Mexico. It looked like ocean, though. That's about the closest we get in there. We surrounded by water. Sure if I take y'all right here five minutes, we hit the lake. If I take you five minutes this way, we go to the river. We just in the bowl, that's all. Gyros, gyros. Is that a restaurant? Gyros, that's a type of food. I don't know. What about soul food? You have lots of African-American fans, but you never say anything about soul food. Oh, what? Miss Mary, yes indeed. Ralph's got some soul food up on there. Oh yeah. He's I got, got all good old soul, soul food. You must didn't see them greens I did. Man, I, I do all kind of soul food now. I love soul food. That's what we're really eating the reality now, of life. I'm going to tell you, if you want to go get some good soul food out here, you got Yeah, but I'm East. saying like me and you, our house, we really eat more soul food mm -hmm. than we do any food, honestly. Yeah. I but agree. but I, I find that a lot of our type of food out here is soul food. Even though it's it might be Cajunized. But it's still soul food. Uh -huh. That's how I see it. Well, I got Gyro does hurts gyro. Motherfucker. <laughs> I said something else wrong. <sighs> filthy mouth, bro. Just a filthy mouth. Gyro. Alright, hold on. <laughs> Alright, wait, hold on. Let me catch up. There are a lot of ethnic restaurants in Houston from Chinese, mm -hmm. Cantonese, Greek, Thai. Wow. Yeah, well, we need some of that. Yeah, we ain't got none of that that I know of. So I mean, yeah, now, I will say, in the East, they have a lot of soul food, like, really good soul food places. But the East is sketchy, so you got to be careful. But they got, like... I mess mean, in New Orleans in general. Like, all the corner stores got some good old soul food, man. Yeah. She is <laughs> silent. I'm sorry. I love Cajun. <clears throat> sorry, you way behind on comments, baby. I seen that long Baby, time it's long. just different than what you see on on there. Um, uh, I share sit over another five. Lebanon Cafe on Carrollton. Lebanon Cafe on Carrollton. Take a screenshot of that. Yeah, I don't know. Thank, thank you for sending that five. I appreciate it. I want to say I heard it, but I don't, we ain't never been there. How you take a screenshot on your Man, phone? you suck, man. You can't even take a screenshot. Like that? Yep. All right. I got it. Thank you. <laughs> you get a pass because my dad does from home. <laughs> man, so I'll tell you all, that's, that's good food, but it's all the same food, if that makes sense to you. You know, that's the best way I can describe New Orleans, that it's really, really good food, like good fried chicken, some good pastas, and good jambalayas, and good gumbos, but... It's all the same, you know what I mean? So when you live here, it's kind of, that's all it is. You know what I mean? You just eat the same stuff all the time. Vietnamese food is awesome. Mm -hmm. I bet yes. the hell it is. Where did you get your tattoos? <sighs> man, old Doc Don, bro. He was loaded like a loaded pair of dice, man. He used to be on the airline highway, y'all. A lot of these tattoos are 20 years old plus. Um... That's where I got all these tattoos. I got 90% of them on, from Doc Don's. And uh, he started getting ignorant, bro. He started mm. nodding out and shit, getting me tattoos, bro. And I was like, bro, I ain't coming back to this fool no more. How's the rent in New Orleans? No, that, that's a good question. The rent is, exp if you want to live in a decent place in New Orleans, it's going to be expensive. And then if you're not so much decent place, you know what I mean? Like a little bit of danger, but not too much danger, but a little bit. So if you want to live somewhere dangerous, you could probably get your place about 900. And if you can afford, if you want to live in a nice place in New Orleans, you know what I mean? You probably pay about 15, but it's going to be real nice. <clears throat> now, I think I think in the Treme, I don't think the rent's too bad. And the Treme is really nice, but it does, I think, could be a little dangerous, but not too dangerous. You know what I mean? But you come down to Metairie, you're gonna get you get your three bedroom house in Metairie, like three bedroom, one bath for like 
13 or 1400 I don't know. Rent has been going up crazy. 1500 You can find some. 1500 yeah. Three bedroom, one bath. In Metairie. Nice neighborhood. 1500 I mean, it's... I mean, most of Metairie is, is a pretty decent neighborhood. Is a pretty decent area. They have a few sketchy neighborhoods, but... Yeah, but then the rent ain't going to be 1500 Then it's going to go to 9 but you're going to be... And you have to get it out. You know, you might the car might not be there in the morning time. Now, however, let me say this: Cali's prices, because they're talking about Cali's prices. Yes, it is astronomically different. However, the pay grade is way different out there. Yeah. Than it is is out here. Our wages, you know, are way lower than Cali's wages. So I think it kind of equals out. Where you may think, oh, housing is cheaper, so you, but you really got to look when you're trying to, if you want to relocate on housing, you got to look at the wages. Expect, or like I in remember my last gig, I went and got 10 years of tree climbing experience. I mean, I can go on your tree, be to the top of your tree, man. I was, I'm, I'm a real good tree climber, man. I, I'm telling you, I, you can have a 100 foot tree, I've taken them down as fast as an hour, you know, it just depends. But, with 10 years of experience, tree climbing, where I put my life on the line every day, y'all. 10 years of experience, y'all. And they know, you can't lie, bro. They know the way you spike up a tree, tying in the tree, rope up a tree. They know. $16 an hour, bro. $16 an hour. Yeah. That ain't shit, man. That ain't no money, man. That ain't no money to raise a family and pay your rent. Do the math on that, bro. That ain't nothing. One bedroom apartment here goes for two thousand. Is that in Canada? You, I think you said you're from Toronto. Property taxes are nothing in California compared to Texas and Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Do we do? We have bad crime in New Orleans. Like, I mean, we've New Orleans has always been considered murder capital of the world. Um, the pop and and uh, there's always a lot of comparison between Chicago and New Orleans and Chicago is extremely like I know that their crime rate is really high. However, Chicago population compared to New Orleans population is night and day. Chicago outdoes New Orleans by what times like 10 or 20? A lot, but New Orleans is very small. I don't think people yeah. realize the crime that takes place in New Orleans is just a few square miles, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, they got crime in East New Orleans. I ain't gonna say they don't, but a lot of your crime taking place, bro. It's just right down, downtown, bro. It's just, it's, 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 shit's crazy. Yeah. Crime everywhere, man. Yeah. It's just, yeah. So, I mean, and the, the crime can get really bad. It's really, I mean, our first murder of the year is usually within seconds of the new year. <laughs> like, honestly, yeah. like, there's neighborhoods... There's many neighborhoods the cops just will not go into. They don't Man, give a we shit. we was doing siding 15, 20, 20 years ago. We was doing vinyl siding in the, in the seventh ward and stuff. Man, the cops wouldn't even go in that neighborhood. Matter of fact, Cox Cable wouldn't even go in the neighborhood, bro. They was robbing the Cox Cable trucks. You know, the cops wouldn't even go in the neighborhood. You know, here we are doing siding, and then they stole our truck, too. Yeah. But, you know, it's just... It's, yeah, and the crime is bad everywhere. But, I mean, it's just out here. It's a different mentality. Yeah. It's a it's a street life mentality. There's a lot of poverty in New Orleans. So that, you know, is going to raise your crime rate. And... Like, you <clears> see all them <throat> kids on Bourbon Street, bro, banging on them buckets and sounds nice and all that. But you got to understand something. Mama or daddy, mostly mama, sometimes dad ain't far around watching it. You know what I mean? And they got all four, five of their kids out there doing that on Bourbon Street. But don't think they're just kids on Bourbon Street getting that hustle on. Mom and dad got them out there, and they're watching, bro, from mm -hmm. not far away. They're over there watching, you know. And uh, yeah, I guess you do what you got to do, you know what I'm saying? I mean, hey, it is what it is, you know. It's sad. I mean, it's not definitely. I promise you, I know, like, there's always, like, the debate. We don't, I don't want to debate on who's more dangerous and who's not. I don't want to take that that title you it's know what i'm terrible, saying man. No, you know it's, it's a shame terrible. it's sad there's so many innocent kill kids that are killed innocent family members and we know on bourbon street bro daughters. you gotta be careful man i mean shit goes pops off in a second <clears throat> notice bro and there's tens of thousands of hundreds of thousands of people there and it just that quick two or three people are dead bro it's just crazy man yeah i think some people just go out to look for a bad time i guess i, I don't know you know
It's, it's a shame. But, it's really a shame. You know, it's been an awesome life. We're going to jump off because I got to go bring our uh, Parker on his adventure to take him I know. To okay, can we discuss how this is going to go down when you don't come home with an iguana? Have you thought about this? I have. We're going to stop off at the store. We're going to get peanuts, me and him. Okay. Because the squirrels come to you. They want to buy it. They, they don't know peanuts. about this adventure. I ain't talking about adventure? No, that was on Twitch. <laughs> All right, if you ain't on my Twitch, go find me on Twitch, Ralph the Baker 101. We're going to be twitching and, 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 and all that. <laughs> we're going to do all kinds of things. But my son wanted to go to Florida because he's been watching YouTube to go catch some iguanas. Well, clearly I can't take him to Florida. But I'm going to take him down over here to the woods right back over here where they got some trails and they got some squirrels and the squirrels want to eat peanuts. We're gonna and they got them. lizards. They got regular lizards, but they ain't got no iguanas, okay? So I'm going to take them down over there in the morning. He's all excited. That's what he said. He said he did tell us that the iguanas are becoming a nuisance in Florida, and they're digging severe holes. He said it's tearing the whole city down. He said it's tearing the city down, and they're biting kids' fingers off. So he has, he believes he's like the Steve Irwin of the seven-year-olds, my poor yeah. baby. And he thinks he's going to go out, wait. He thinks he has to go out there and hunt all of these iguanas to save Florida. That's yeah. what he's thinking in his head right now. But really, we're going to the woods, and we're going to go feed squirrels, and I'm going to tell him that the iguanas are sleeping <laughs> or something. You know, what else can I do? I can't uh -huh. take them to Florida. We ain't got no damn iguanas. Right? We ain't got no iguanas here. Listen, I'm cute. So, we're going on no, an adventure. No, we don't have iguanas out here. We have, like, the freaking little green lizards. And I can guarantee you, he's going to be up bright and early, boy. He said, hey, Dad, can I sleep in the bed with you tonight? He's ready to sleep in our damn bed. That's how early he's going to be ready. So, we're going to feed the squirrels. We're going to tell them that the iguanas are sleeping. We're going to go look for some for a little while. Mm -hmm. They really do have coyotes we got to watch out for. So yeah, watch out for coyotes. And that's what we're doing in the morning. Oh, tired now. So I gotta get some rest because I can guarantee before the sun comes up, he'll be waking me up. Hey dad, let's go on this adventure. Well yeah, Miss Ginger, they have iguanas in pet stores. Mm -hmm. But this boy wants to catch and hunt and kill iguanas. Well, he does want to eat them too. And he wants to cook them. I we can't go buy an iguana for that. He, but no, no he, we he don't have them like wild, you know, wild like Florida and stuff. Does. No, we just got regular green lizards. That's all, little little green ones. So, yeah. <laughs> so it's gonna be fun. I, I know he's gonna be. He, you know, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna see what I can do. <laughs> so I think he'll have a good time feeding the squirrels. Honestly, he just don't know it, but he will. So we're going on that adventure in the morning, me and him. That's a you and him adventure. Yeah, so we're going on that in the morning. and uh, Go catch a gator. I have to take some pictures. I'll put that on my Instagram on our adventure. Oh, no. He expects you to film this so I can put it up on our family YouTube channel. That right, he so. thinks is just his channel. Yeah, he thinks his gold button is on the way. He thinks he's got a million. So I don't know who told him this. He thinks he has a gold play button from YouTube coming in because he got a million subscribers on the channel. And we ain't even got... We got 2,000. I don't even think we had 2,000 on there. Oh my God. Daddy, some bonding time. Good night, yeah. RTB fam. Yeah, good night, my people. So, y'all get rest, man. Y'all have a good <laughs> Tuesday. Yeah. We're making our way through this week. And uh, before you know it, you'll get paid and spend your money again. Yes. But the week can be upon us. So, so put your notifications on for Twitch. A few people. Are asking about when you're going on Twitch again? Yeah, I'll be uh I'll be back on Twitch tomorrow, even if it's just for a little hour live in the in the evening time around seven. That's when I'm gonna start doing Twitch because I can do Twitch. I know we're about to jump off, but I can do, we can do whatever we want on Twitch. It doesn't affect anything. Well, when I do lives on here, we gotta kind of be careful. I do lives on other platforms. We gotta be there. We can just do what we want, y'all. We can just roll with it. We decide we want to drink. We drink. We decide we want to do this. We can do it. We can do whatever we want. So we're gonna be twitching, okay? We're gonna be streaming. So on Twitch, it's Ralph the Baker 101. Y'all can find me on there. But y'all be safe, man. Be blessed. I appreciate y'all. It's been a fun little ride. All right, y'all.